following program is brought to you in living color on NBC. Oh, Engelbert Humberdink, would you give me an autograph? Where, Ruth? All over. <laughs> Excuse me, Henry. Do you have a quarter for a cup of coffee? Oh, sure, Mr. Benny. Here. Thanks. And here's your coffee. <laughs> John, can you suggest anything to make me more attractive? No. Huh? No, nah, she didn't say that. Miss St. John, I'm going to give you one more chance. Now, can you suggest anything that will make me more attractive? Well, um, gee, Gladys, uh, maybe a different color hairnet? <laughs> yeah? Yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> now it's for a quickie week. has only three days in it. Monday, Tuesday, and April. Speaking of quickies, let's look in and see what's happening in the office. Typing, typing. Bing, typing, typing. Bing. The office, the office. The nine to five is office. The plays we file and type a lot. They wheel and deal and swipe a lot. We work here. We play here. We print and we go. The office is our second home. And the water cooler. The office is our second home. On your coffee break. The office is our second home. Typing, typing. Ding, typing, typing. Ding. Here, Here comes the, the boss. boss. Here comes the boss. boss. Order in the office. office. Here, Here comes the boss. Miss Hahn? Yeah? What did you do with all those computer cards? Oh, I threw them all out. They're all full of little holes. <laughs> Carolyn, do you think the boss likes a little nip on the side? Oh, well, I don't know about that, George, but every once in a while he'll try a little pat on the cheek. <laughs> hey, Ruthie. Honey, should I go out for a coffee break? Well, okay, but if you just wait a minute till I finish my coffee. Oh. <laughs> I'm picking up a collection. Marge is having a baby. Oh, good. What does she need? Well, for one thing, she needs a marriage license. <laughs> Boy, was the boss surprised when his wife showed up. Well, so was I. She was looking for me. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. You know what? <laughs> Our boss really keeps late hours. Last night, he didn't get me home till 3 in the morning. <laughs> I don't know why they call this take-home fee. It hardly pays to take it home. <laughs> oh, no, you know, the boss has just provided the guys with two good reasons for coming to the office early. Topless receptionist. <laughs> well, what's the other reason? Once an accountant, always an accountant. There's something wrong with my stapler. Every time I hit it, a little piece of wire comes out. Miss Jones, oh, yes. I notice you leaving a little early every evening. Oh, yes. But don't forget, I make up for it by coming in late every morning. Uh. <laughs> Coffee break? No, thanks, Goldie. It keeps me awake. Our new computer functions exactly like a human being. The day the World Series opened, it called in sick. I just talked to an efficiency expert. Now, everybody in here whose job can be duplicated by a machine is dismissed. Oh, oh well. Not so fast, Miss Raskin. Uh. <laughs> From the back room of Benny's Beanery and Firework Factory in beautiful downtown Burbank, in defiance of thousands of requests, NBC once again presents Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In, starring the former Dan Rowan, and the recently titled Dame Richard Martin. Tonight's surprise guest will not be announced until later, but he looks a lot like the singer, actor, dancer, and almost unpronounceable Engelbert Humperdinck. <laughs> Engelbert Humperdinck. Was that a quickie? Plus these delightful doo-doos. Artie Johnson with Ruth Buzzy, Judy Karn, Henry Gibson, Goldie Hawn, Alan Suze, and sure relief for blocked sinus cavities, Joanne Worley. And for the very first time anywhere, Teresa Graves, Pamela Rogers, Jeremy Lloyd, Byron Gilliam, 
Engelbert Humperdinck. That's not a quickie. <laughs> Nevertheless, Gary Owens could not be here tonight due to the commitment on Letters to Laugh In. Morgul the Friendly Drell will be back from the Drell Convention in Philadelphia next week. Now, a word to the wise. Should a gentleman offer a lady a gotcha? Gotcha? Gotcha! <laughs> if that warmed the cockles of your heart, this one will lift you right out of your seat. Angle! There! Humper! Dink! AM and FM. That's the most beautiful thing I ever heard. And now, folks, here's Sweethearts. Without further ado, do, do, here's two do do's, Dan Rowan and Dick Doo Doo. to restrain yourself, Boy. but in the moon team, well, good evening. The mind tune. Hey, you look a little tired tonight. Well, I've been in training. Been in training? Oh, I'm yeah. glad to hear that. What are you in training for? Well, didn't I tell you? No. I, I got a black belt and gotcha. <laughs> you got a black belt and gotcha? Sure, look over there. Gotcha! <laughs> That's great. Uh, thank you. It's a result of rigorous training, <laughs> hours of clutching, grabbing, squeezing. Sounds <laughs> pretty tough. Uh, exhausting. Is, yeah. I never knew how strong a girl could be. <laughs> there's a girl in the class? No, there's 12. Well, the rest of the students must like that. I certainly do. Uh, <laughs> take a long time to learn gotcha? Oh, yeah. You know, there's a beginner's gotcha, yeah. intermediate yeah. gotcha, and then there's advanced gotcha. Ah, I see. I went right to advanced. Well, I can imagine. Head of the class. Well, not really, uh, but the instructor did say I was a natural. I would say so. <laughs> uh, hey, look over there. <laughs> oh, no, you think I'm stupid? If I look over there, you give me a gotcha. Yeah, look over where? Over there. Gotcha! <laughs> You've been taking lessons. Yeah. Gotcha! Ah! <laughs> well, Dick's running for his life. We'll have time for a few quickies. Here come the quickie. My, wasn't that a delicious meal, oh, dear? It's all right. Oh, aren't you glad I, I forced you to? Dinner. <laughs> now let's see what our fortunes cookies say, okay, honey? I've got sure. mine. And it says, trouble and care won't bother you long. Your husband just poisoned your egg fooey up. <laughs> See you around, fatso. In my day, quickies were much quicker. You can say that again. In my day, quickies were much quicker. Silver in my hair, teeth full of gold, taking iron shots. What can I do for my family? Well, when you go, why don't you leave them the mineral rights? <laughs> President Yu, I am happy to report we have canceled the elections, shut down another newspaper, and locked up the outspoken critics of our government. Good. Now we can proceed with our fight for democracy. I love those quickies. You're usual, sir. What was that? That was Flirty. The bar just opened. How did he get loaded already? Well, you know what they say. Clarity begins at home. Beautiful statement for you. 